Hello, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be telling a story of... Just a story of... Oh, it's even hard for me to speak on it. Story about my weight or just health in general in, in life or what I've been going through or gone through in the past. So get ready. Get your tissue boxes out. It's going to be a tearjerker. The reason for this video is because I've been eating very healthy or somewhat healthy for the past week and a half now. I guess part of the whole New Year situation. But I've been trying to just eat healthier in general and not go out and order food or take out food. Just make my own food and not to eat too much in portions. Um, I've been eating big, literally large Kardashian salads for lunch at work. And then breakfast is like eggs and a protein and... Um, snacks is usually usually an apple or like fruits and vegetables and then dinner is like chicken breast or fish so I've been doing very well and trying to go to the gym every day or actually five days a week not every day so that's why I wanted to bring up how all of this started and it's story time now I guess <laughs> basically as far as I can remember I was never a thin kid um, my I have pictures that my parents showed me that I was really skinny when I was in elementary school, but I'm talking, I don't even remember about my life in elementary school, that's way too young, it's like little Steven. Um, I'm talking about what I remember, and that would be middle school or even fifth grade, which is still elementary school, but anyways, I was pretty chunky. I was tall for my age group, or in my class, but I wasn't skinny for... And Asian like all my friends were um, and so I don't know I never really worked out either we went outside to play when I was younger but never too intent intensely um, but I ate a lot <laughs> and you know in Asian culture rice is a staple food and we eat a lot of rice so that plays a big role probably with me growing up eating a lot of rice I'm talking like big bowls of rice from my grandma's house, crock size, crock pot size rice, just non-stop with spam and ham and soy sauce and oyster sauce and eggs and just ramen included in there as well. So it's, it's pretty a large portion of just carbs. And when you're younger, you don't think about, you know, carbs and your weight and protein, but you just do know like, oh, you look a little chunkier than the rest of your family or the rest of your friends. But you don't know how to fix that issue. And I remember I had high blood pressure in the sixth grade when we had to do checkups and physicals. And they said, you have high blood pressure, so make sure your mom or your dad, whoever's cooking, you know, puts less soy sauce or sodium foods in your food. So make sure you not to eat as much. And I was like, okay, whatever that means. And then, you know, come gym class, it's always just like either running or playing basketball. It's never actually like a gym class. I wish gym classes... You know, in today's generation, it's more like a workout class, like CrossFit or just letting them do cardio or, you know, build muscle. That would be kind of awesome. Starting in the middle school because you don't want to stunt, you know, growth or anything like that. But, you know, food has always been my love. Um, I think I use food for many things as a coping mechanism. Well, I can't say that word. Coping mechanism. You know, if I'm having a really bad day or I'm in a depressing mood, or if, even if I'm tired, I don't go to sleep, I eat. And I don't just eat, I'm saying I eat a lot. And I would say I eat pretty healthy. I'm not talking about like, I eat bags of chips and cookies and ice cream. I'm talking about I just eat large portions of things. And I think I binge eat a lot. And so, you know, I, if there was like a bowl of chicken wings on the dining table, you know, normal people would have four and then leave the rest for their family. I ate like all of it. And even when I was full, for some reason mentally, I would still eat all of the chicken wings in the bowl. It's just, I don't know, I would just eat everything that I can. And so this is where I am now. Most people are very sensitive about our weight. 
Yeah. And, but you've just sort of embraced it. You're not the girl out in public when they're talking saying, I better eat a salad because I know people are watching. Oh, no. I would do the opposite because... What does that it, mean? It, like, if somebody were to say, um, oh, you shouldn't be eating that, I'm going to eat, like, five, like, right in front of your face. <laughs> and I'm going to lick my lips and I'll have a good time. <laughs> I think what really resonated and stuck with me even to this day is I had a family member. Um, he would take my brother and myself out to eat. Um, and for some reason, it would always be fast food, <laughs> which is awful. I mean, for kids, yes, but for an overweight kid, not the best. And, you know, my brother and I, br my brother is really skinny at the time, you know, we would order the same thing, you know, bacon, junior bacon cheeseburger from, and french fries from Wendy. And the person in my family would say, Stephen, you really shouldn't be eating that, actually. You should just give that to your brother. Just don't even eat the fries or the bacon. Just have the burger and the bun. <laughs> and as a kid, I've heard that over and over. I didn't even want to eat with him at that point in my life because it was just so depressing to think about um, watching what food goes down to my body or to be controlled by someone telling me, hey, you shouldn't be eating this and at such a young age. And it mentally probably still to this day does scar me. But, you know, he was coming from a place of love. That's what I tell myself. He was coming from a place of love and caring just it didn't come out the right way as a kid would want to hear from an adult. Um, so that played a role mentally of me with my weight and my relationship with food too. The constant struggle for me is always, I guess, portion control and also not to eat when, you know, I'm in a bad mood or if I'm already full, why am I still eating if there's leftovers? Just wrap it up and put it away. But I'm just letting everyone out there know that you are not alone in this. If you have a battle with food, um, with trying to lose weight, exercising, health, things like that. I think a lot of people go through it. Um, it's good to have a conversation about it and to know your body and know your limits as well. And just have things in moderation and small portions and have a good support system by your side and you know cheering you on saying that you can do this to motivate you to be better basically be the best version for yourself not for anyone else you have to do it for yourself um no one else remember that that's a big rule a huge rule so to wrap up the whole story, right now at this very moment, I am happy with who I am. And it comes with, I think, just living life, experiencing things, being independent, and with age. You know, I couldn't say this when I was 17 or 21. Definitely not. And I still have insecurities now. But, you know, as you get older, you start not caring about what other people think and you just focused on yourself and your own mindset and to know who you are as a person and just be brave, be bold, be confident in yourself. That's a big role, you know, fake it till you make it as they say. So that is a little bit about my weight story and food and health in general. Um, I hope you've enjoyed and learned or took something out of that story, I hope. Um, comments below, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to love life, live happy, and I will see you next time.